Hi everybody and today we're gonna do a different kind of video. I felt like doing something different so we are going to be answering questions from Reddit. In case you don't know in Reddit there is a very nice classical guitar community. I will write the link here down below. And to celebrate it now I've been part of this community for a year. I thought why not just to answer some of the questions that I find maybe the most interesting here in a YouTube video. If you like this new kind of video drop a like or a comment let me know and I'll maybe bring more to the channel in the future. So let's get started. Question number one. I want to teach myself classical guitar. Where do I start? Well, my friend, to learn how to play guitar, you need a guitar. I would say for somebody who's starting to learn to play guitar, you can do two things. If your goal to play guitar is just to play some songs and sing along, then just grab some of these chord books and learn some of the chords. It's not the easiest road to start with chords. But it's possible. If, on the other hand, you are actually interested in the classical guitar world, then the best suggestion I can give you is start to read. Just take one of these methods that um, show you how to read. So this note is this in this fret, that note is there on the other fret. Just learn the distance between the notes, this tone, tone, semitone thing. You're good to go. You memorize and you learn all the notes in the first position. And from there, you can basically crack your entire fretboard. You don't need to memorize the entire fretboard. Anyways, that's for another topic. But once you have read the first position, you will literally have the tools to eventually read every music that has ever been written. So yeah, probably that would be the, um, the advice I would give. Question number two. Is learning on my steel string acoustic good enough for me? Well, there actually have been many experiments to play, for instance, uh, baroque music with uh, steel strings guitar because of the type of sound that they try to emulate from that time. But aside from the experimental type of situation, I personally wouldn't advise it to you because steel strings has a very different balance and tensions and that can throw you off a little bit. Not to say that with steel strings your nails are going to end pretty badly. So I would really recommend that you find yourself a classical guitar, so a nylon strings guitar online. You can get it so so cheap in the secondhand market for instance and start on the right foot. Question number three. Good pieces by Bach for classical guitar. Well. If you mean good, you could just lose the entire repertoire of Bach. For classical guitar, nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. You could play from the 9 and 5, the 9 and 6, the 9 and 7, the 9 and 8, and the list goes on and on. But I guess you get the point, right? And because our instrument has these polyphonic capabilities, we are very fond of stealing other instruments' repertoire, like the violin sonatas, partitas, uh, cello, suites as well, even organ and harpsichord repertoire crazy i know i mean why not bach used to reorchestrate his works for different instruments so i mean i guess we just follow his tradition right but i suppose that you want somehow something more accessible so i would suggest maybe one of the typical pieces to start is this uh, bourree of the nine and six a very nice piece also to start might be the first cello suite is very famous super lovely and not really difficult I mean, you can always make it more difficult, adding more bases and more harmonies, but there are some arrangements out there that are quite doable. If not, just start with the Chacona, you're gonna love it and you're gonna die. The problem with Bach and the difficulty many times relates on the type of approach that you take Bach's music. If you just take the easiest fingerings, many things are very doable. If you try to preserve the phrasing, the bowing, the articulation and the stylistic characteristics, then everything becomes a little bit more complicated. But still, without taking all these things into consideration, I think it's a very good music to have in your ears from the beginning and to get a little bit to know all this wonderfulness of Bach. Question number four. Why are classical guitarists against taps? Ooh, let's start the polemic in here. <laughs> so now I want you guys in the comments say I am Team Tabs or I am Team Shit Music and let's start this war. No, 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 okay, okay, let's not do that. I don't want the comment box to just have hate all around. No, no, no. Going back to the question, I'll tell you very quickly why you might have felt some sort of rejections from classical guitar players to Tabs. If you don't know, before we had Shit Music the way it's now, musicians used to read Tabs. Now, what does this mean? The sheet music is a development from the taps. The taps, the problem it has with it, let's say the biggest issue, is that it's missing out on a lot of information. In taps, generally you have the numbers, so you know exactly which fret you, you are going to play, and 
and if it's a really good tap, you might have also under the indication of the rhythm. So now what's the problem that I have seen also with many, many students struggle with it is that when you're reading the taps, you're reading the numbers, but most of the time, even if you have the rhythm written underneath, it's not together. You have to see two things. So basically you end up missing out completely the rhythm and having a good rhythm structure is very, very important for a good musician. Secondly, you are given the fret, but you don't know which fingering. So you have to, in a way, figure out or copy somebody else. You, know, you cannot have your own approach to it. You cannot adapt to your own needs because you only know to play this note in that very fret. You cannot figure out other fingering variations to play the same exact notes in other places of the guitar to have different freedom of expression, of fingering, of color, of articulation. You follow me, right? Then you also have no um, indications on phrasing. If you have some sort of polyphonic music, you will just have a bunch of numbers, but you will not see like in a glimpse um, which are the voices that are moving and how they are moving and how they are related. That's so important for a musician to, to be able to see. You also don't have indications of expression. You don't have indications on tempo adjustments like agogics in general. Uh, you don't have indications on any type of articulation or anything like that. So as you can see, like you're missing out a lot. That's why once you know the sheet music in a much more complete and advanced way of writing out thoughts, way of writing out ideas and suggestions from the composer to the player, you don't want to go back to a situation where you're missing out that much. I know that some guitar players became really famous and they don't know anything about music theory. They cannot uh, read sheet music. They, they don't know any of those things. And it's a funny mix, right? That is a longer topic to answer, but that also depends on the type of music that you write. If you write your own music, you can somehow find riffs and find your own thing that you like and you write it this way and you play that way and somehow you don't need to know exactly which chord you're playing. Music has this magic that if you find some nice sonorities, some people can make amazing songs and they don't really know what you did. Of course, if you know what you do, you can manipulate all this much better and create something even better. But in music, there is that possibility to go with intuition. Now, if you take classical guitar, we are interpreting works from a composer who wrote music in a paper to transmit all what they wanted to give us. So we are expected and we should be able to understand what they wrote in order to give a striking interpretation on this music. So don't feel bad about these tabs or not tabs. If you want to go into classical guitar stuff, then yeah, you might want to learn to read. If you just want to play chords and songs and maybe some solos, then you don't need to take the time to learn how to read. Question number five. Is it time to change my strings when it starts to peel like this? Well, yeah, it's about time or it's gonna snap right on your face. If you have to feel better about yourself, look at one of the guitars I have here in the studio. That's really bad. And I keep procrastinating changing the strings. So remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it. I will appreciate so, so much if you do that. So wish you all the best, take care and practice well.